smooth. All right, that's bracket number one. Use factory settings. Time to go back up to the top and change some stuff. Felt really good. Really supportive. Pretty much got close to bottoming out from fork, but I might change compression a little bit. You go one at a time. So go through compression first. High speed, low speed. Then I'll go through rebound, high and low speed. Get this thing uh, feeling the best that I can for me. A lot of different options for setting it up. But I'm gonna spend a little bit of time today and get it right. This is also the uh, first ride on this fork. So, really happy so far. Feels really good at just, just the uh, recommended settings that comes in the uh, information book with a fork. Anyways, go back up to the top and do it again. This is my little sheet I made up. Um, pretty much telling me so I can keep track of all my settings from the closed position. So first ri second ride was today. First ride I broke my rear wheel on. So had that rebuilt and now I'm back a week later. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my low speed, low speed compression, maybe change it out to 12 clicks um, for this run. I'll keep everything else the same and uh, just keep going, see what it feels like. Okay, so take our low speed, which is right in the center here, and we're gonna open it up two clicks. It's one, two. All right, let's go for it. See what it's like this time. The whole idea is you want to find the same section of trail over and over when you're doing your bracketing. Figure out, oh, it feels so much better. <laughs> what uh, what you want out of the fork? This thing is just tracking. Oh my goodness, two clicks made that much of a difference. It's nuts. But yeah, it's just tracking, tracking the ground, giving me tons of grip. Wow! <laughs> Ooh, I hit that wrong. This last little drop is checking a high speed compression, high speed rebound. Feels good. All right, it's number two. That felt great. That was awesome. Two clicks it made a huge difference. So go back up, try it again. About the same amount of travel used again. So reset that, go back up to the top. Okay, so for high speed and low speed uh, rebound and compression, you wanna find a drop or something that's gonna happen really fast, a lot of force, because that's what gets affected by that. So in our case, I'm gonna try pulling two clicks of high speed compression off. So I'm gonna open it up by two clicks. One, two. We'll give this one a go. The drop's right ahead. So basic, basically, I just want to get the idea across that you're going to hit the same section of trail or different parts of the same section of trail to go ahead and get your fork dialed in because this fork, just the possibilities are endless for how you can get it to feel. And it's all about how you want it to feel and how you want it to perform for you. Um, I really consider having good grip, being comfortable, being able to control really well to be my priorities. Um, so that being said, let's do a uh, high speed compression run. Oh, it's so smooth. Just uh, two clicks. Let's hit this, see what it's like. Okay, it did feel a little bit better if I leave that out. You can see where I am at my travel, so maybe I'll pull it back just one click because I'm getting close to the end of my travel. It did feel really good, but let's add one click in. There we go. Okay, back up to the top. 
We'll hit up rebound. This is absolutely the condensed version for you. You could spend a day just doing compression. You could spend a day just doing rebound. So it's kind of condensed to give you an idea of what you should be doing when you get a new fork. That way you get familiar with it and you get the best out of it. All right, it's low speed rebound time. So in is slower, out is faster. So we're gonna turn it left two clicks or out two clicks. There's one click, two clicks. All right, give it another shot. Make sure to mark your uh, paperwork if you got it. Keeping track of all this is important because it's really easy to forget about it. So my second, my third ride, 85, low speed compression. I brought it to, uh, that's still at 12. High speed is at six. So we brought it to seven, took out one. Low speed rebound, six. So I'm now at eight. High speed still the same. Still have one token in it. Cool. She's a little more lively. <laughs> nice. That feels so comfy. I'm purposefully hitting that drop so that way I'm just bottoming out or trying to bottom out the suspension. Did feel really good though. Two less clicks. It's not too out of control. So for the purpose of time, let's hit up a uh, high speed rebound, which I think I actually like it right now, but um, I might take it in one. I'll take it in two. And I'll just do this drop right here and see uh, see how that feels. High speed rebound. We're going to do in two clicks. Let's see what it's like. There we go. One, two. Doesn't take much. All right. Hit that same section again. All about repetition and writing down your information so you can keep track of it. All right, here we go. Nice. Purposely pushing on that front fork. See what I can feel. Yeah, I don't like it as much, so I'll take it back out to where it was. Part of it if you don't like it you don't like how it feels take it back to where you started write down your notes keep track of it you'll get that fork feeling great i think from here out i'm gonna mess a little bit more with the settings and i'm gonna run the whole trail see what i think about my settings from that point and then uh just continue to enjoy be happy and thankful that uh got this fork and um it's probably gonna make me a lot better of a rider over time. So uh, keep filling out your paperwork. So you were a couple rides in and uh, I know that I like my low speed compression a little less. I like my low speed rebound a little faster. I pretty much kept a lot of the other stuff the same. Uh, so yeah, it's a good starting point. We're going to ride the whole trail down now. Use that as white balance. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's ride the whole trail down now and uh, see how it feels. A little trick if you're making your own videos for GoPros or YouTube, anything white, stick it in the frame and then you have your uh, 
point to go off of your white balance for the uh, for when you edit it. But anyways, that's uh, too much. Let's go have some fun. It was nice and planted. A lot more grip out of this fork than I had out of my old one. It feels so good. The knocking you're hearing is my sunglasses. <laughs> I apologize. Let's fix that. So that's gonna drive me nuts. Okay. Oh, so, so grippy. It's almost like you could just throw it and it just stays. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, it feels great. Super happy. Oh. All right, made another change. Back two more clicks out of uh, low speed rebound. And I backed out another two clicks of, uh, no, one click of low speed compression. So low speed compression in the center, high speed compression outside, and then low and high speed on the bottom of that fork leg. Just keep trying stuff, write it down. If you don't like it, change it back. She's grippy. I put myself in trouble with this thing. old downhill trail nobody rides anymore it felt good <laughs> that was great <sighs> I think I like it more lively of course you're gonna have to adjust your rear suspension to match front suspension drop out of this tight Feels so good.
<laughs> I think is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. It's been a long time. I think I might have taken a wrong turn, but it's okay. Oh, that was great. Great little run. Oh. Well, I hope video explains something to you about bracketing. How to set up your new suspension on your mountain bike. Or even if it's an old suspension and you haven't bracketed, check it out, see what you can do. See how it works for you. Go through and do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. I know it's easy to just set it and forget it, but... You never know what the fork can actually do. <sighs> well, as always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. If you get a chance, go out and ride that bike, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Go for a stop recording.